Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got a collective haul for you. Um, and yes, I'm still recording in front of the Christmas tree. I gotta record when I've got the light, people. And that does sometimes mean a little bit of bulk recording. I'm sure you don't mind. You just wanna see the things I have bought. Didn't do masses of sale shopping this year. Um, decided to spend the time at home, but I did do a little bit of damage um, and I thought you might like to see. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start off with ASOS. The ASOS sale was really great, but I only actually picked up two things. One is this amazing clutch bag, which is actually... Uh, there were two clutch bags I liked. Um, there was this one which I deemed a grown up clutch bag and then there was one that was a lot, a bit more fun. It had like a fluffy pom pom on it. Um, but I, I kind of decided I'd get a lot more use out of this clutch bag. Um, but yeah, it's this beautiful kind of, it's not real leather, it can't be for the price, but it's kind of like an envelope kind of oh, thing. And there's some gold hardware and it's just the ASOS brand. Um, it's not masses of space, but like there's enough space for phone lipstick money and then there's even a little zip inside so you can put your coins and things in there. I just think the colour will go with so many different outfits and it's quite elegant and I like that, as I say, I like the fact that it's kind of that envelope kind of thing rather than a clasp. Um, it's not leather, even though. It has a bit of a leather-esque smell, a leather look, but for the price it can't be. I can't remember how much this was originally, um, but in the sale it was £8, I believe. But yeah, really, really love that. The only other thing I got from ASOS was a denim skirt. Um, I've not even tried it on, it's still in the packaging. It's originally from Boohoo. It's just a denim knee-length skirt. Um, I think it'd be really good with knee-high boots and a top. Yeah. Next bag I'm going to show you is from Superdrug. It's a giant bag. There's not giant things in there. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they didn't have any small bags left. The thing that I wanted that I went into Superdrug to buy was I needed a foundation. Um, if you've been watching me a while, you know, I don't wear foundation every day. I'm normally just like concealer and powder, but I needed some foundation. My favorite foundation, if I'm honest, is is one of the Clinique ones. Uh, but I wasn't prepared to pay Clinique prices. Um, so I did a little research online. I saw loads of really good reviews for this collection color match um, foundation and as every other person in the UK that likes makeup, I love the collection concealer. So it seemed it seemed like something I wanted to try. I got it in the shade 2 Ivory. Not sure if it's the best shade for me, but I did the whole back of the hand and it looked all right. So I'm going to give that one a go. I think I'm relatively sure this was like less than five pounds, which is a bargain. Obviously I was in Superdrug so I went and had a little look what they had in their sales section. It had been like violated. It was like barren shelves so <laughs> there wasn't masses of choice but the bits I did pick up. Um, I picked up this Sweet Snuggles hand lotion set which is a cute little penguin in so it's just some hand cream for my purse that I'll put in my handbag. Um, and a nail file and then they also had the Sweet Snuggles Vanilla Foot Lotion and it had a set of these toe separators. Um, there was ones that were open, I got to smell them, they smell really amazing. Uh, these bad boys were 49p each. You can't even get a chocolate bar for 50p and I got foot cream and hand cream, 50p each, amazing. And the other thing I got was by the brand Leafy and Lovely. Um, it smells so good. Uh, it's packaging is quite pretty. You can see that. And it's just a fizz bar. Like a, it's called Summer Meadow Bath Fizzer Tablet. So you kind of break it up and put it in the bath. And this also was 49p. 
like winning. I just say, what what can you buy for 49p? Not a lot. So, well, clearly you can in the Superdrug sale. So that's what I got. The Superdrug. Then I went in to Accessorize. I love that shop. I really, really like Accessorize. If you don't have an Accessorize where you are, um, if you know what Claire's, do you know what Claire's Accessories is? Obviously Claire's Accessories is for like teens, tweens kind of thing. Basically, Accessorize is a Claire's Accessories for grown-ups. Um, but it's very expensive. Um, so it's not, it's one of those shops that like if I've got 15, 20 minutes to kill in my lunch break, I will go and have a little look because they have some beautiful things in there. But for costume jewellery, it is sometimes slightly overpriced or maybe it's just out of my budget for costume jewellery. Um, but they always have really good sales. So I picked myself up. This super cute floral keychain. And that looks like that. It's very Kath Kitson. I love anything with my initial on. Um, if you've seen the vlogs over on Beach Life in our home, we have quite a few things that have bees on, or because our surname begins with a bee. Um, don't know if this is even in shot, but there's a bee on the Christmas tree. Um, and we've got like a big wooden bee in the living room and then we've got candles with like K and J. I love all that kind of thing. Um, it probably comes from having a name that isn't spelt the traditional way. So when I was a kid, I was never able to have my actual name on a key ring. Probably. Anyway, this was marked as 50% off, but I actually got it for 75% off because they were doing extra discount on it on the day I went in. So it was like... I think that was like £1.25. It was like less than two quid. And I think that's super cute. That's going to go on my handbag. And the other thing, which was the thing that I went into the shop for, was some sparkly but grown up hair, <laughs> hair grips um, for uh, an occasion where I need some, I wanted something a bit sparkly in my hair, but I still wanted them to look like grown up sparkly. I didn't want to be like, all over bling so subtle but pretty and I actually went into Claire's Accessorize and there were ones that I didn't love but they would have done but they were still six pounds and then I went to Accessorize and these bad boys were six pounds um, but they were 50 pence off 50 percent off which put them down to three pounds and then they had the extra 25% um, off that day so I paid less than three pounds for these they're beautiful, they've got like little diamantes and pearls on and they're perfect for the event that I'm going to. Um, subtle but pretty and delicate but sparkly because I like sparkle. And last but not least, has to be oh, the boots bag which looks a lot bulkier than it actually is. <laughs> everybody goes to boots, everybody loves the boots. Like after Christmas sale where all the gift sets are half price. Um, I went into my local boots, I think it was like three days after Christmas, on the hope that the mad crazy sale shopping would have kind of calmed down a little bit. No, there were people literally dragging things off the shelves. It was like, I thought all those people shopped on like Boxing Day, not three days after Christmas. Um, but yeah, there were literally women grabbing and like stockpiling soap and glory stuff and it was like why do you need 10 of the same soap and glory gift set that's just crazy to me but i'll show you what i bought i only got two things i'll show you the little one first so the little one is the full sparks gift set looks like that i have opened it because some of them are like the first one i picked picked it up and like oh that's light and it was actually empty someone had taken the contents out so I had to open it to double check that everything was in here so this one full price is six pounds so I got it for three pounds um yeah let me show you what's in here I do love soap and glory stuff so this has got the righteous butter body shimmer cream 
looks like that. Let's do the old YouTube close up. Oh, smells divine. Oh, smells so good. I kind of wanted to get my hands on the Soak and Glory perfume set. I really like the pink one, uh, but that section of the Soak and Glory aisle, women were like throwing punches, so I wasn't prepared to go down there. Um, and also in this set, there was the Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss in Candy Queen, which is so sparkly. So, lo <laughs> so lovely. I really, really like the Soap and Glory lip glosses. Um, I'm not the biggest lip gloss fan because I'm more of a matte lip, but I really like. If I'm going to do a gloss, it's going to be Soap and Glory. They are the best. And the other Soap and Glory gift set that I got for myself is a bit bigger. And it looks like that. Um, and this is the Take Your Pink um, gift set. So this was originally £10. I got it for £5. Again, women were just practically fighting for these things. So, crazy. So in here you get a what do you guys call this? A puff? Uh, one of those. I don't know what they're properly called. Does it say? No, it just shows a picture. It doesn't actually say what these are called. But you know, you kind of scrub it and your dead skin cells sit on it. Nice. Then it's got a hand food. Um, love this one. It's amazing. Soap and Glory stuff all smells so, so good. It's kind of like, yeah, now I get why people fight over the sales. <laughs> uh, the next thing on here is the Clean On Me um, Creamy Shower Gel. Again, I love this product. I'm trying to think if I've ever found a Soap and Glory product that I don't love. Uh, then I've got the Scrub of Your Life, which is the body scrub. And then lastly, the Righteous Butter. But it, this is in the tub format rather than the handy dandy tube format. And I think this one's got a shimmer in it and this one hasn't. So yes. Oh, very, very happy. And that is my collective haul. I think I did quite well and they were all bargains. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye guys.